Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel, Shell's Hearts Art, and today I'll be doing a sew and tell video on a recent sewing make that I just completed. So, let's get into it. I'll be talking about Simplicity's 8635, and I'll give a brief description on the pattern right here. If you want to take a good look at it, there it is. As you can see, it is a jumpsuit romper slash dress pattern. You have the dress here, and you also have the mini dress. So you have a maxi and mini length, and then you have a... Um, pants version and a shorts version. I don't know these seem to have the length of clocks. I can't really tell I'm mean, I haven't sewn this one up so I can't really tell but I think I've seen some people sew view the see up and they had it all It was like to the ankles. So it was pretty long pretty um lengthy Anyway, so I did view D and B. I took the top the bodice from view B and I took the shorts from view D And the reason I did that was because I preferred the neckline on view B compared to the sweetheart neckline because I just thought I wanted something a lot more simple. I also preferred the back detail on the um, on view B. Maybe I'll put it up close for you if you can see it. The back detail, um, view B has a much more simpler back detail as opposed to the crisscross design. And I think the crisscross design is very cute, very flattering, but I was just thinking about everyday use. Um, I wanted something that I could, I wanted something that, that I could get a lot of wear, wear out of. So I just wanted something very simple in the back. But um, maybe in the future, I'll do the crisscross detail. You never know. Aside from that, the pattern itself, I don't think it was very difficult. I definitely don't think this is a beginner friendly pattern though. I think this is more for an advanced beginner, somebody with some experience. Also, um, the pattern calls for batiks, chambray, cotton lawn, any kind of cotton types. And I used a cotton fabric, 100% cotton. As you can see here, it has like this blue, soft baby blue plaid type of print. I really like it. It's really cute. And the fabric itself feels so good. It kind of feels like rayon. And if you saw my previous videos, I'm always talking about how much I love rayon. Um, what else can I say? Aside from that, the only difficulty I had was when I was matching the bottom with the top. Maybe because I've mixed up the, the bodice with the bottoms, I didn't use, like for instance, View D. I didn't use the, the bodice from the um, from View D to match the bottoms on View D. Instead, I mixed, like, I mixed it up like I mentioned. So maybe that was a reason, but I did have some issues matching the top, the bodice with the bottoms. When, it's, when, it, when it came time to sew them together, I had some issues there. I had to take in the pleats on the front of the shorts by half an inch, an extra half inch. So yeah, but that actually helped me help solve the problem. After that, it was all okay. Um, also, the bodice is lined. If anybody was wondering, it is a lined bodice. Aside from that, overall, I really like this pattern. And I don't know if I already mentioned it, but I will insert pictures at the end of the video so you can get a good look. Anyways, that's it. Um, also wanted to share with you all my cute little pin that I'm wearing. It says Seamstress. And I know if you're on Instagram, you've probably seen this on a lot of um, sewist Instagram. They always um, post cute little pins. And I got mine from Sew Me Sunshine, and I think it's designed by the Pink Coat Club. It is so cute. She has it in many different colorways, and I just saw everyone wearing it, and I just had to get one. And it's just so cute, like, having it pinned up on your clothes. You just feel so, like, you feel like a sewist. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um... Aside from that, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in following me on social media, feel free. Instagram is Shell's Hearts Art. Anyways, thank you so much. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video.